synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex neural matter, a three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. Oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psycho doc, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. <laughs> oh, Dogen, don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilt, I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests. Superstar Psychonauts Sasha Nine and Mia Modello. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. Is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Get, get in! My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. But everybody calls me Ras. Compelling. Armored like a tank. Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling. But... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. Mm. 
No, darling. You can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you. But we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie. You're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something. To make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen. But they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once, kinda. But now I wear this special hat. Wanna try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I got big plans for that mind. <coughs> ah, been waiting to since we started this. Hey, everybody, this is Leo. I can give time for another episode of Let's or a new episode, a new Let's Play. Uh, we're Let's Playing Psychonauts! Probably one of the greatest games ever made. Um, if it was the first time you ever played the game, you get the, you get the opening, uh, script like that, then you'll get like a main menu whenever you come back in. Um, as you can tell, I've done some little editing, because I already have a follow on here. Um, a little bit of a story, a little bit of a quick story on this game. Um, I've only recently legitimately bought it, uh, actually around Christmas time. Um, I had to end up actually pirating it, pirating it, pirating it, yeah, yeah, I'm saying that right. <laughs> end up having to pirate it earlier, before then, because I really could not find a copy of this game. I tried to find it for PS2, I had like Gamefly or whatever, but then it never came in the mail. It actually ended up... Then I tried to look online, but I swear I couldn't find it. Each and every I found out about Steven and was able to find it. So yeah. an 0600 hours on the clock. I'm the early bird. If you're the worms. Got it? Now, lights out! See yeah, ya, let's get into playing Psychonauts, shall we? Woohoo! It's a great game. Definitely worth the five bucks I paid for on Steam. Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Normally it's ten bucks though, I got it on sale. Uh, look over that Christmas. way if you will. Okay, so, base controls. Uh, we use the mouse to move way. around. Um, I think the controls are reversed. Uh, so yeah, you, you move the mouse to the left wow, to look what's to the right. That? Oh, that's a side uh, challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Now look yeah. up for me if you will. Um, yeah, this, the controls are... Mm. We're gonna have to fix that. You can fix that in options. falling apart. You'll um, find bits of them flapping around loose. If yeah. you find enough of these side cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a side core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up and before you know it, You'll be able to use brand new psychic slippers. powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could oh. do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? Huh. That guy looks so familiar. Okay, mm -hmm. whenever, we, whenever we enter a pause in your escape, we we'll actually open up our journal. Uh, we can also change the camera preferences. Uh, and I believe we can also change our key bindings from here if you're using the, if you're playing the PC version. Um, it's been a long while since... Hey, Rod! Hurry up! You don't want to be late for basic training! Woohoo! Basic training is the best class ever! Okay, now, real quick before we do that, uh, let's tell us how to navigate the journal. We use the air, use the arrow keys or the WASD to look around, uh, or left analog stick before using the controller. Or the mouse to navigate the journal. So yeah, 
Uh, basically, that's for using the buttons. Um, oh, my controller does work on this. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, probably doesn't work correctly. Something tells me I remember trying to use it before. Um, and then you just kind of click over here, I think. Yeah, using left and right. Or A and D will uh, do the same thing. Uh, on this page, you can see what you collected in your current area. Make sure to come back after a while. Uh, tell us how many side challenge markers. I'm um, not quite sure what those are and how many side cards. All right, there's our. Uh, I'm doing the biggest scheme of things. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, these are all these collectibles and stuff that we'll be getting later on. Uh, these are unrelated right now. Uh, we'll be getting those eventually. Uh, I'm actually going to go task you. And this is uh, pretty much you know, recent history stuff. Uh, this, is your, this is your memories. These are cutscenes, basically. And this is the map. Uh, your position is marked with the orange arrow and the placing you go is marked with the green reticle. So yeah, we need to go up there for uh, basic braining. Uh, we'll be getting into that in a second. I just kind of didn't do the thing I wanted to do. I wanted to go into options and change the controls a bit. Um, see, I think just the camera. So I wanted to invert this. Let me see how this feels. I might, I might end up changing it back. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not, let me check and make sure the sound is. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, by the way, you can also hit escape to bypass all that. And there, there we go. That feels a lot smoother. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I can actually, I can move left and I look left at the same time. Uh, but anyway, let's do some little bit of exploring over here. we get some side, mark, side cards. Um... Let me get a side core once we get, I believe, nine of them. Right here, you see these little, uh, these little bubble things over here. Just push F and pull up. Arrowheads. These are uh, made of titanium, rare psychoreactive material. Uh, but, uh, but they're used basically as currency. Um, you'll find them, yeah, you'll find a bunch of them all lying all over the place. Uh, like right here, for example. And most That's got to be the worst band name I have ever heard in the huh? history of ever, of all time, ever. And uh, by band? worst, did you possibly mean the best? Because that's what I was thinking. No, I meant worst, as in I can't even believe we're friends. It's so bad. Look deeply into your heart, Vivi. Okay, um, and I think actually, you'll probably, find that even you believe the Levitators is pretty much the dopest name a band could ever have. Levitators. <laughs> Um, you know, we'll talk to, we'll talk to those guys today. Um, probably should go ahead and talk about the controls. WAFD moves you around. Uh, that would be like the analog stick on the controller. Um, yeah. Uh, left click attack. Uh, I'm not all sure what button that is on the controls. Like I said, I've never actually been able to play it on the, con on the uh, console version, despite the fact I tried. I tried really hard. I could not find a copy of that game. I can tell you. This game, it, it was worth, it was worth the search, the long and hard search for it. Um, but anyway, we want to get these cards. I heard they kind of see, uh, Raz, Raz kind of, uh, automatically slides, oh, yeah, and takes down the roof, uh, Tarzan style. Um, let's see. Right here we get this little swing, just kind of hit back and forth. Time it correctly to match uh, where Raz is and kind of gain speed. Uh, to climb ladders, just climb up against them and they climb up automatically. Um, I believe this. Yeah, right down there is where we need to go. Uh, but let's, uh, 